Hey guys, how's it going? Solo back with another daily update video. It is Friday, the end of another great trading week. But before we get going, make sure you check out my last video. I just put it out again a few hours ago because YouTube was doing funky stuff with it. And I think notifications didn't go out. So make sure you check that one out. That one is about Riot Blockchain. Today, we're going to talk about Marathon Patent Group like we always do, alternate back and forth. As we do, we're going to look at the overall market today. And spoiler alert, not looking so great. A lot of red on the heat map. We'll take a look to see how Mara traded today on Robinhood. Then we're going to go right into the updated technical analysis. And I want to show you how closely Marathon or Mara trades with Bitcoin to see if we can predict how Mara is going to open up Monday morning. And then at the end of the video, we're going to show you the option flow data to see what the big money investors were doing today with Marathon Patent Group. And I've been getting a lot of questions about where you can find this option flow data. And there is no free option. A lot of the services charge over $100 a month. The service that I use, TradeUI, is the cheaper of the options, but it's still roughly $100 per month. If you're interested, I have a discount code in the description below. Better yet, sign up for the Discord server and you can get the free option data just by being a part of the Discord. So let's get right into it. Looking at the heat map, like I said, a lot of red on the board. Big tech, again, is not having a good day and really not having a good week. Even Tesla was down 2.2%. Facebook actually had a green day up about 2.3%. But look at the semi-sector, all red. AMD down another 2.8%. I can't remember the last time AMD was less than $90 a share. Micron, even the Honey Badger was down today. Intel, NVIDIA, you name it, Qualcomm. All these stocks have been doing really well lately, all had a red day. The banks, the financial stocks had a bad day. So not a great day in the market in general. And as expected, Marathon Patent Group or Mara also did not have a great day. Take a look at this. We were just selling off pre-market. At the opening bell, we were already down over 5.5%. We rallied back very quickly to being down only 3.5%, but that didn't last long. Very choppy trading day today. We kind of peaked around 1.30 p.m. Eastern time, and then we just sold off till the bell closed. And like I said, we ended the day down almost 8.4%, but we are rallying right now after hours as I'm making this video. We're up 1.4% after hours, but you know what? I'm not worried because in a second, I'm gonna show you the trading view chart overall on Mara, and we are still on an upward trend. So like I said in the Discord server, I love red days like this because this is when stocks go on sale. This is when you can sell puts on options and get good premiums and lower strike prices. So I love a good pullback day like this. And I will tell you, I actually opened up even more positions on Mara today. So right now, I actually have over $30,000 worth of options open on Mara, but they all expire today for max profit. So let's just take a look to see what I did really quickly on the Mara option chain. So if you've been following my videos with the scrolling position bar at the bottom, you know that I have 30 options that expire today on Mara. I had sold some puts all the way down here at the $7 strike. In fact, we can't even see it because Robinhood has already moved on to the next week. But those were for the $11 strike. I sold them for some between five and six dollars some sold for five dollars some sold for six dollars and i have 30 of those and today this morning i had some money left over i had no other place to make in my mind so i said you know what let me dump some more into mara i actually opened up nine more puts on mara that expired today at the 11 dollars strike for a dollar each because why not so in total on those 11 strike puts I made roughly $140, $150, somewhere around there. And then on the puts that I opened today that also expired worthless at the $11 strike, I made about five bucks. So bought myself a taco today because why not? Making $5 is better than making $0. Also, my Virgin Galactic Space puts, I had 20 of those. They also expired worthless today. So I made about $30 off those. So all in all, I made close to $200 today, which is realized profit in my bank account and i'm fully cash again ready to make some more plays come monday but let me show you how closely mara has been trading with bitcoin so you see this dip right here we kind of dipped right at 3 10 p.m and then we changed direction and have been melting up 
Let's take a look at the Bitcoin graph today as well, just to show you how strong the correlation is. So Mara had a red day, probably because not only did the overall market have a red day, but Bitcoin had a red day as well. We're down 3.8, 3.9% while I'm making this video. But take a look at this point right here. Right around 310, 315 is also when Bitcoin started to reverse direction and creep upwards. So really this weekend, if you really want to predict how Marathon Patent Group and Riot Blockchain are going to open up Monday morning, just follow Bitcoin. Bitcoin trades 24-7, 365. So come Sunday night, Monday morning, look to see where Bitcoin is. If Bitcoin rallies hard this weekend, chances are Mara and Riot are going to open up green. If Bitcoin sells off even more this weekend, chances are Riot and Marathon Patent Group are going to open up red. Let's take a look at the trading view chart to see how Mara is doing to see if we can help us make predictions for next week. But like I said, we've had two red days in a row and that is fine by me. These are sale days. Stock is on sale. Like I said, great way to lock in some share prices or options if you want on the cheap. But this overall upward trend line, we haven't broken down below it. In fact, if you look, we closed right on my area of support that I drew around $22.40 or so. And in fact, that's right where the 23.6% Fibonacci level is. So I'm fine with that. I think come Monday, we are going to have a green day. And I think we're going to bounce off this area of support. So I'm just going to draw this arrow right down here. I still think we're going up in the short to midterm. I think we'll probably bounce up around $22 off that level of support and continue higher. So I'm predicting that Mara is going to have a green day. And likewise, Riot Blockchain likes to trade with it. So I'm sure Riot is going to have a green day as well. I just want to add one more area of trend because I think there might be an area of resistance somewhere around here, somewhere around $26 and some change because it looks like we topped out there pretty much three days on January 8th, January 12th, and most recently yesterday on January 14th. So I think right now our closest area of support is around $22 and our closest area of resistance is around $24. So I think on Monday we'll bounce off $22, probably creep closer to $23, $24. If come Monday we close above $24, even better, our next area of resistance is $26. But like I said, I think it's just a matter of time before we break $24, break $26, and then are on our ways to $30, $35, and $40. Let's take a look at the trade UI option data to see what the big money investors were doing on Marathon Patent Group today. So here's the trade UI platform that I use to get my option flow data. Again, if you're not looking to pay full price for this, Join our Discord server. I'm more than happy to send you option flow data for free for all of our members when you're in there. So it looks like 28 sweeps or 28 big option orders came in on Marathon Patent Group today. Let's take a look. Oof. At the end of the day, a string of put options that were bought. These red boxes are put options. The green boxes are call options. And for some decent money. However, if you take a look at some of these options, the strike prices are 25, 25, 25. 23, they're all above what Marathon Patent Group was currently trading at. So these are all in the money options that were bought. So they're all hedges. It doesn't mean that all of these people or all this big money is bearish on Mara. They're actually just hedging their position. The biggest option that came in today was this one for over $626,000, which again is a put option, but the strike price is 27. And at the time, Mara was trading at 23 and some change. So this again is a hedge. So I'm not worried that the big money is bearish right now on Mara. In fact, if you take a look, here's another 40 strike option, but this is for one year out, January of 2022, for $262,500. So someone is again betting that Mara pretty much gonna double at least in share price over the next year. There's a 25 strike call. This is bullish for $32,000. There's some other big money. Here's $400,000 that came in early in the morning. This is again a call option, but this is a hedge because it's a $20 strike. And at the time, Mara was trading for 22. So someone is hedging their bets here. There's a lot of hedges that I'm seeing. So I'm wondering if the big money doesn't really know what's happening with crypto right now. We're not just going up, 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 green, green, green every day. Seems like people are starting to hedge their bets because of some uncertainty, or maybe they're hedging their bets because Bitcoin trades 24-7 and they don't know what's going to happen with Bitcoin over the weekend, but they can't trade their Mara or their Riot stocks. So they're trying to place some hedging bets just in case Bitcoin goes crazy. Either way, crazy red or crazy green, 
over the weekend. Let me know in the comments below what positions you have on Marathon Patent Group or Riot. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you agree or disagree with my predictions? As always, make sure you join our Discord server. Again, if you want to get access to some of this option flow data, add me on Twitter, add me on Reddit, add me on Instagram, add me on Stock Twits. But most importantly, I hope you have a happy weekend and let's start off next week in the green.